Hey guys, God is doing a lot in the church at this time and I'm really excited about uh, what we kind of all sense, I think the beginnings of God doing something new and fresh uh, amongst us this year. He's given us an amazing vision to see revival for a generation which looks like the turning of the tide of a godless society. Within that, he's spoken to us about the 25 mile radius, that we're to reach 5,000 households with the gospel so they get saved and added and become disciples. Now, within that, God has spoken about having faith objectives. Every prayer needs to have a focus. Every prayer needs to be prayed with faith. And every focus of faith has an outcome. And he's spoken to us about faith objectives, our families getting saved, friends being saved, households in our 25 mile radius being saved. And within that, he's given us a bit of a prayer strategy, which is to pray the first seven days of every month. So in May, the first seven days, we're not only gonna pray, but we're gonna pray and fast. Jesus in Matthew 6 said, when you pray, and so he's kind of saying, because it's relationship with God when we pray, we do that like we breathe every day. We spend time with God, we talk, we listen, we read the word, we're developing relationship. But then further in that chapter, he said, when you fast. Now, we might not fast every day, but there are times when God says, I want you to fast because we need a fresh breakthrough with God. It might be that we need to go deeper with God ourselves. So we're gonna not eat food for a day or for a meal or for a few days, and instead say, God, I wanna focus on you, and I want you to be my strength, you to be my food, you to be what I need, and allow God to do something new in us. Sometimes when we fast, we're fasting because a friend or family member needs to get saved, or it might be that somebody needs to get healed, or something might need to happen in a situation, and so we, we fast from what we normally do, we take time out, and we focus in on God and what he wants to do in this situation so there's breakthrough. There was a story when Jesus came down from the Mount of Transfiguration and his, some of his disciples couldn't deliver a boy from a demon. And Jesus then prayed for this guy and the, the, the boy was uh, set free from this demon and he said, this kind come out by prayer and fasting. Now there's some things that happen when we pray, but there are fresh breakthroughs and greater breakthroughs that happen when God says, I want you to fast. And so we want to see greater breakthroughs. We want to see more people getting saved, more miracles getting released. We want to see God amongst us in a whole nother dimension than we currently are. It's exciting what God's doing, but we all know there's more. And so we're going to be using that first seven days of May to pray and to fast. Along with that, we're going to have three encounter nights on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday night, third, fourth, and 5th of May. We want to encounter God as a church and we want to meet with Him as well as fasting and praying so that we have fresh breakthroughs in everything God wants to do. So let's be encouraged, let's really plug into what God wants to do and let's see everything that He wants to do in us and through us for the sake of the kingdom and for His glory.